Hey everybody, my name's Mark. Thank you for joining me here in the den at Friendship Shaving. I hope you're having a good week. You know my little sore still on my neck from my exploits with the Rex Ambassador Razor. And uh, a couple of days ago I just had a one pass shave because of that soreness. But I had such a good first pass that I'm going to stick with the razor that I used. And uh, it is the Moolah R106, which you've no doubt seen before on my channel. And I'm going to be using that with the Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge, and I think it's its fourth use. I'd not used a sharp edge uh, razor blade with that razor before, and it works very well together. I'm going to be using a Barrister and Man soap today. I've got a little sample of their Waves shaving soap. It is a cologne scent. So of course it will match up with anything that smells like a cologne. But I'm going to match it up with my L'Oreal Men Expert Mountain Water uh, for £3.50. I think that's rather a good deal and it will go perfectly with this soap. Now, this soap is Barrister Man's Reserve Base. It is not a hard soap, but it's definitely not a soft soap either. Or at least this sample isn't that I've got. But I've taken a good amount there. And I'm going to spread that around the inside of my bowl. Now, I'm going to take a little moment to do that. And I'm going to really work it around the sides of the bowl. There we are. So you can see I've got good coverage all the way around. Uh, I'm going to bowl lather today and I'm going to use my Frank shaving brush with the G4 knot. I'll just get that a little bit wet. But while I'm um, bowl lathering, I'm just going to step back into the corner so you can see what I'm doing a little easier. I probably won't say very much because I don't want to be shouting uh, across across the room to uh, to the camera so to speak but when I reach out I'll be reaching out just to dip the tips of my brush in some water so let's start going with this There we are. Now I think we're about there. I'm just going to work this around the bottom of my bowl a little bit more. It looks to have created a rather nice lather. The information from Barrister and Man about their reserve 
soap is that it creates a uh, creamy, fluffy, dense lather with superlative thickness. But I've also been told that uh, it doesn't release its full potential. Unless it's really got a lot of water in it. So it'll be good to see how it performs today. But there we go. I've got an absolutely lovely lather there. And we'll go with that. Now it seems as if I've developed a few bad habits in my shaving. I was contacted in a week by Roberto who had noticed on my videos that sometimes, especially on my neck, I shave over the same spot again and again. And uh, I've watched a couple of my videos back, and indeed I do do this. I shave the lather off, and then I assume that there is going to be enough residual slickness there. Just to pick up any stragglers, and uh, So today I'm going to try really hard not to do that. And I'm going to concentrate on shaving only on areas where there is lather. Which uh, makes sense really. So in essence I guess I'm going back to basics in a way today. So here we go, I'm going to be concentrating on shaving in the direction of my growth on this first pass. I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a really nice shave with this razor. It's close.
There we are with a lovely first pass. I was concentrating a little bit there guys, so uh, excuse me for not talking very much during that pass. Now the soap itself is very nice. Just as I'm rubbing water on my face here, it doesn't seem as slick as the Excelsior soap from Barrister and Man. But it is certainly, certainly a nice soap. Now I'm actually going to take a, a, the lather this time and I'm going to add a drop more water to it just to see if I can make it that extra bit slippy. So if I wet my face, that should do the trick I reckon. The, um, the reserve base, I should tell you, doesn't have any lanolin in it. And uh, in case you're not sure about the differences between the bases of the Barrister and Man soaps, I'll include some information in the description from Barrister and Man that explains it. Um, it was certainly very useful to read that. But this reserve soap particularly is, uh, what do they call it? I'm looking now. Uh, it's very good in, I can't remember the exact words that they use, but it's very good in hard water. So if you do have hard water, this may be a soap to look out for. Now there we go. See, that's where I would go again. So I'm going to purposely not do that. I don't like leaving lines like that. I've got to just pick that bit up. I like everything to be neat and tidy. See, now I'm desperate to go over that again, <laughs> but I, I won't, I shall wait. You know, there are lots of lovely razors out there now for us to buy, but the Moolah R106 is definitely one of my favourites. It gives me a really close, comfortable shave every time. Now, what's that like? So I'm definitely not as close as I normally get. I certainly need 
another pass and definitely on my neck there. But these areas are very good indeed. It's mostly up there that I've kind of not quite got. There we are, just take the last little bit of soap now from this. I know I've told you that I've been really enjoying this bowl. Um, since I've had it in the den, I don't think I've face lines. It's such a nice, easy bowl to hold that my tendency has just been to pick it up and use it. Now, I'm just going to avoid this bit here because that is where I am most sore still. No lather there, see? It's easy to do, isn't it? I have got some nice slickness there. But it's worth bearing in mind before you fall into that habit that if you were using an, an aggressive razor, that would be exactly the time that it gets you. There we are, three passes, I'm done, no more. Now the soap itself contains sea notes and notes of lavender, geranium and bergamot. I believe it's a copy, if you like, of Gillette's Wild Rain Cologne scent. What would that be? The 1990s, I guess. So it would go with um, Davidoff Cool Water or, well, I'm trying to think of another cologne now. It's very similar to Ariana and Evans's Platinum. Very similar indeed, I tell you what, that's a nice shave, wow. Oh boy, that is smooth. It's already got a nice face feel, this soap, and um, it does say on the Barrister and Man website that it provides a really nice moisturised post-shave feel, so I think that certainly is going to be the way of it, just judging from my touch. 
My neck is very good actually. I just got a, a little bit there. I, I'm just gonna, it's nothing, do you know what I mean? Um, but yes, I've had a very, very nice shave and I haven't over shaved. I will have to keep an eye on that. So Roberto, thank you very much for your comment. Now that is uh, stinging just a little bit here and here. So obviously I've had a very close shave. But before I put that uh, aftershave on, I wouldn't have said that I had any pain or discomfort at all. I've really enjoyed that one. So there we are. Now, just to mention that I have some lovely razors coming up in the next few weeks. I have a highly polished Feather ASD2S that I'm looking forward to. To sharing with you. I'm waiting for the postman to arrive and I'm waiting for a colonial razors silversmith razor that I've ordered. I'm really looking forward to that coming and Steve another friend of the channel has agreed to lend me his 0.68 game changer and uh, I am really looking forward to receiving that in the post sometime over the next few weeks. So uh, lots of good razors coming up and uh, yeah I'll be looking forward to trying them with lots of different razor blades. That's the fun of it isn't it? That's the, that's the challenge and the enjoyment of shaving. I mean, you can get a razor that you like, like my R106 for example, and you try it with different razor blades and uh, these seven o'clock yellows, which previously I haven't liked very much, really go well in this razor. And I bet you, if you have a packet of razor blades that you don't like very much, stick them in your box, and I bet in a year's time, if you pull them out and shave with them again, you might get a different shave altogether. Um, perhaps our technique improves, well, certainly that is the case, but uh, I had a tendency to nick myself with these. And, um, well, the last shaves that I've had with them, I haven't nicked myself at all. And they're providing a very comfortable and close shave. So, interesting. Just something I've noticed. I've got also, and I'm looking forward to using these. I've never used one of these razor blades before. Perhaps you have. It's the uh, Kai razor blades, a stainless steel razor blade. I'm looking forward to trying those out. So, lots coming up. Until I see you again next time, you take care of yourselves. Subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you around. Take care.